This episode of New Jersey Living is being recorded in Bridgewater, New Jersey. Uh, Bridgewater is a town very much in central New Jersey. We're back in Somerset County, where if you've seen my Somerville episode, we were here for that one. Uh, Bridgewater is a neighboring town, and where I am right now is one of the shopping, many shopping areas uh, in Bridgewater, but this is uh, area uh, off of Commons Way, directly off of Route 22. You can see behind me is Maggiano's. So this is like one of the prime Italian like franchise chain places. Uh, in New Jersey, you can always find the family kind of establishment when it comes to Italian cuisine. And there are many quality ones, believe me. Um, Maggiano's is one of those franchise places that are really, really good. Uh, so this one I'm gonna pan around is, as I said before, we're in a uh, shopping strip. Um, this one, I believe, I'm gonna come down here to where I see the, uh, the sign because as many times I've been here, I've not known this shopping center by name. And I see now it is the Village Bridgewater Commons. All right, so I've been here tons of times but never pay attention to what the actual shopping center is called. So Bridgewater, give a little bit about Bridgewater. Uh, again, we're in Somerset County. This is very much central New Jersey. So when we're talking about the big three, which I'm gonna jump into right now, we have to take into account for both proximity as well as trains. So here in central Jersey, you're not gonna find the train as a major factor. Uh, Somerville did have a train station, Bridgewater, on the other hand, does not. Um, so Bridgewater, we have to put an X for that. And when it comes to proximity to the city, Bridgewater is going to be just slightly beyond an hour, roughly, uh, in terms of a driving commute to New York City. I would say you're probably more in the hour 10 to hour and a half, depending on which part of Bridgewater you're in, because Bridgewater is relatively spread out. So geographically a larger town than a lot of, a lot of other towns that uh, we have covered, certainly a lot larger than Somerville. Uh, so proximity is not gonna get the check mark either in this case. Uh, however, schools, schools are absolutely going to be an A, A rating all the way. So it's gonna be a very high rated um, uh, established um, our rated school district where you're gonna have demand. So we have three criteria that we always use in terms of what creates demand, what uh, creates market value here in New Jersey. It's rare that we have two out of uh, three that are not check marks, but you still have high demand. Bridgewater you do. Uh, it is a very much a uh, central, probably Probably one of the more high demand locations in Central Jersey uh, with those known larger townships. Bridgewater will be one of them. Uh, so you don't necessarily have a lot of New York City commuters that are going to be here in Bridgewater. They could work locally. Um, they may want to have a central enough uh, commute between Philadelphia and New York perhaps. I have had clients who needed that type of flexibility. Uh, but you have uh, very much a comfortable suburban environment and even areas many areas of town that even get into that rural kind of feel all right windy roads back in the woods or kind of on almost like a farmland right so it's it gives that kind of diversity in terms of what type of home what kind of property uh, you want to own um, the demand creates a certain market value so what we're going to look at today we're going to see four properties and they all are going to range pretty much from about 600 to just short of 1 million. Uh, there are options that are lower uh, in four and 500 range here as well. Uh, but I would say safely, you want to be comfortably six to 800 in Bridgewater. Uh, if you're looking for a home that's going to have maybe four bedrooms for sure, but something that's going to be more than 1,800, 2,000 square feet is going to land you in that 600 and up kind of range. The smaller homes, which they do have, um, those will be more in that four or 500 range. Um, so I'm going to stick to what most of the inventory tends to be, and that's the six to 800 range for uh, this particular episode. All right, so again, like I mentioned, we are here 
Um, I'm gonna paint around just a little bit once more so you can kind of see what uh, the local area looks like. There's hotels here. Uh, just behind this area, there's a commercial industrial area where it has the mall, Bridgewater Mall. It's directly adjacent to where I stand right now. I could actually walk over to the mall in about like probably five minutes. Um, so we're going to again jump into some other properties and uh, if you have not been on my channel before, welcome. I'll get into a few more details at the next stop. I'll see you there. Welcome to New Jersey Living. My name is Corey Jones and I'm a real estate agent with Prestige Properties here in New Jersey. And my job is to bring content like this to viewers like you. So if you're interested in learning all there is to know about New Jersey, particularly the real estate market, places to dine, social events, iconic locations, this is the channel where you want to be. So I receive a lot of phone calls, outreaches, text messages from viewers just like you who are looking to explore the market or perhaps looking to potentially sell their property and move on. So I welcome all the, who are looking for just insights or assistance in their journey. Uh, my outreach and, and commentary and assistance is certainly comes at no charge. Uh, that is a service I just provide to the general community. All right, so we are here at our first stop here in Bridgewater for, uh, let me first go back and say thank you for all those Jersey Hunters that have been following all along. Those who are new to the channel, welcome aboard. Please be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell to stay updated on the episodes that are still to come. So here we are at our first stop. I'm going to pan around so you see I'm on a cul-de-sac. We are a short two-minute, I'm two-minute, two-mile drive from the mall area where I just was and uh, this property behind me is 740 Hart Drive. Now this is an area where we're in as you can see it's, it's really somewhat of a suburb but these are very large lots. We are not at all in a rural area but we're starting to get into your more woodsy areas that have larger lot sizes and often are on well water. So this property, and I can see looking at the properties that are on this cul-de-sac, they're on well water, all right? So well water, obviously you're getting water from a well, not from uh, the public uh, municipal uh, water line. Uh, typically there is uh, water filtration that comes with that because uh, you want to filter the water that uh, comes from the ground. And obviously there's a pump, right, to pump the water in. Um, this particular property, we're going back to lot sizes. This is 0.87 acres that this property is on. So you see the little smaller footprint in the front along the cul-de-sac, but this property extends back a ways. Now some of that is going to be likely wooded, um, but nonetheless, it's a lot of property, all right, for this given scenario. Tax is still not bad though, $10,000 uh, plus annually, all right, for, for taxes. So this was a recent renovation, renovated in 2022 in this year five bedroom three full bath um and the original list price and i'm gonna flash these up i don't have them all memorized exactly but the original list price was roughly in the 680s dropped down to 659 sold at 650 it was on the market a total of 70 days all right so this lasted on the market for a little over two months before going under contract um, we're gonna see some that went really quickly others did not it's kind of reflective of the market right now um, location being that we're a bit further away from the city I can see why this would uh, maybe go a little longer but again we're gonna see as we even move up in price range there's gonna be some others that went in a matter of a little over a week all right so um, you get a bit of a mixed bag depending on location, depending on the property features in terms of the upgrades and the general layout, okay? So this is stop number one that we have here. And again, directly at the end of a cul-de-sac, which is a very attractive feature. You see the basketball goal up here that's uh, behind me. And, uh, you know, that's one of those features that attract families, that uh, kids can come out, ride bikes, play basketball, and there's not really any through traffic to contend with. Uh, they can come out here and be safely in the street and not have to worry. So, again, this is stop number one, and we have another three. I'll see you at the next stop. We're at our second stop in front of 1177 Krim Road. 
And this is the Colonial. You can see that's behind me. More of a contemporary style of Colonial. And that's another thing about Bridgewater. Here in the area of Central Jersey that we're in, we're not in one of the uh, older established town areas like uh, some spots in Somerville that you'd see that date back into 1600s, 1700s. So when we get out into some of this more wooded area, and by wooded, I'll pan around so you'll get an idea of what I mean. These homes are newer construction, relatively speaking. So you're talking about uh, a lot of homes built in 80s and 90s, sometimes 70s. All right, uh, so property here uh, listed initially basically at 750, sold at 730. Four bedroom, two and a half bath was on the market for pretty much a little over three months in this case. Uh, another renovation, so renovations were done uh, this year uh, to do upgrades here. I can look just glancing at the fence. The fence is certainly uh, newer, if not brand new. And the lot size in this case is over one and one third acre uh, with taxes at 11,000. So again, you're gonna get a lot of breathing room here, generally speaking in Central Jersey, but certainly in Bridgewater. Uh, you're gonna get plenty of room to do whatever it is that you feel like doing in the backyard. Uh, this, as you can see, uh, it's a two lane road that's not a very uh, residential section, like a cul-de-sac, if you will. So I won't call this at all the main road. It's a 35 mile, mile an hour speed limit here, uh, but we're not tucked away inside of a neighborhood on a side street as we were at heart uh, at our first stop. So. This uh, gives you a little bit of a sample as we have our FedEx delivery coming up here. Uh, a little bit of a sample of the 700s that pretty much sold in the 700s. The next one we're gonna see escalated well above 700 uh, in terms of the sale price. So we're gonna take a little f uh, road footage along the way. So enjoy the road footage and I'll see you at the next stop. our third stop at 1260 Cornell Road right directly behind me and this is a side street and uh, dead end street at that so the only traffic that really is likely to come down this way are those that are reside those who reside on the street uh, they have some utility work going on right now uh, looks to be pretty extensive uh, looks to be uh, some kind of gutter or sewage lines that they're doing but to pan around just give you uh, a view these are uh, a blend of colonials splits and ranches so here we have is an example of a ranch and this one another renovation so uh, this is uh, another scenario also where we're looking at a relatively substantial lot size compared to other locations that we've been so this is I want to say 0.83 acres in terms of lot size um, but the property itself, um, I'm going to give a quick peek uh, at the list price just so I can be very accurate. So the property was listed at 765, sold at 950, 26 days on market. Uh, part of the appeal here is this is a the mountaintop section of Bridgewater. There is higher elevation here, which tends to translate to nice views. So sometimes you can overlook a, a valley or have just a really, really attra attractive scenic um, view just out your backyard. Uh, so this area has demand because of that. Um, pan around and yeah, just so you get a feel for the general area. Again, uh, extensive driveway here because on street parking is available, but you know not necessarily ideal when you have uh, a ways to walk to get to the front door, but this is a sizable uh, driveway as well. Um, so for this one, four, four bedroom, three bath in this case, and taxes, uh, if I'm recalling correctly, roughly 13,000 here. Uh, and these properties, I always encourage uh, viewers, 
feel free to take a look. Go to compass.com, go to Zillow, uh, pull up the address. You can get uh, some of these interior photos to get a real feel as to what type of renovations. This one right here had a relatively open floor plan. So part of the appeal also outside of location is how are the floor plans, the layouts of some of these properties? Is it an open layout that is very attractive to buyers? Is it uh, a scenario where the finishes are neutral enough to be attractive to multiple buyers where it just spawns a quick sale? So these things factor, come into play when you're looking about uh, looking at time frame. How long did it take to sell and how far above ask? Because obviously in this case, we're talking about almost a full 200,000 above ask that this went for. All right, so we've got one more stop along the way. We've got a few more um, scenes of road footage. I'll see you there. Here we are at our final stop at 816 Summit Ridge Drive. Uh, we're at another somewhat of a cul-de-sac, more of a dead end than cul-de-sac as I pan around a little bit. And you can see uh, the road does not continue directly through. There's a rail and sort of a, almost like a, what you see in a medium, but it just cuts off the road rather than divides it in half. Um, the road continues on the other side. So this is, for all intents and purposes, a cul-de-sac where there's not gonna be any through traffic, which made Part of the appeal for this property uh, was listed at 825, sold at 925. Five bedroom, three and a half bath. Again, a larger lot, 0.92 acres. But it is what's in the back that separated this. This is uh, a multi-tiered deck in the back where a portion is just for entertainment space, a lower level for a hot tub, all overlooking a valley, which is just a spectacular view. Uh, so this was on the market only uh, 11 days, right? So this uh, drew a lot of attention, although it was not newly renovated like some of the others that we uh, had stopped by earlier on this tour. Uh, but given the dynamics of what you're looking out on, it made a huge difference. I wish you could see it from where I stand right here, but this is worth going to Zillow or Compass.com just to put, plug in the address, 816 Summit Ridge Drive, Bridgewater. Take a look for yourself. You'll, you'll really appreciate it. So um, this, uh, again, uh, when we're talking about Somerset County, Bridgewater is one of the high demand feature places. Although it doesn't have the train, doesn't have the proximity to the city, it has the school system, it has the suburban feel that you can be in a true suburban neighborhood or you can be in the area. Most of the properties we viewed in this episode are in a similar area of Bridgewater, which is relatively uh, larger towns, kind of spread out geographically. Uh, so we're mostly in wooded area here, uh, kind of up on the mountain. But uh, you can have rural, you can have uh, kind of mountain woods, or you can be in a regular uh, traditional suburb in terms of setting uh, with great schools and you'll always have demand. So along with, uh, and we're talking about Central Jersey, along with Princeton, uh, probably Matawan and Monmouth County, Freehold, uh, and Basking Ridge, right here in Somerset County as well. This, these are your feature Central Jersey uh, kind of locations when it comes to demand. So uh, I hope you have been appreciating the ride along the way today. For those that are new, again, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Stay updated on the content we still have coming your way. Those Jersey hunters that have been with me along for the ride, thank you for joining again. Appreciate your support. Until the next time, stay safe, and I'll see you the next episode.